what is the general mood there? I can only imagine it's great. Doug Peterson is as sunny as it comes. Um, and uh, and you had a great finish last year. But just just roll me through the the general mood of Jacksonville Jaguar camp right now, Trent. Well, I think that the mood is very good. I think, you know, we just moved into a brand-new facility, state-of-the-art facility. So uh, we've got all the, all the tools we need here uh, to, to do some good things. I think there's a lot of excitement coming off of last year. You know, and Coach and I talk all the time, you know, that last year's over. It's a new year, new challenges, new football team. Even though there's a lot of the same faces, every year the team's a little bit different. So we're excited about the way they're working, the way they're coming to work every day, the attitudes that they have. It's a young group. It's a fun group. It's got a lot of energy. And, of course, Coach, I think, does as good a job as anybody in messaging these guys and working with these guys. Based from you. Them. Based from your uh, perspective, when when did things click? When did things take a turn? I know Doug mentioned the uh, London game in which uh, Trevor had a poor outing and took it to heart, and and he completely turned things around uh, on the turnover front there. But I'm just wondering where you would peg uh, a turning point last year to the momentum carried to this conversation right now. You know, I, th- I think it there, it was kind of a transi- transition throughout that, that stretch where we were coming up short, you know, and I thought Coach did an outstanding job of messaging the guys and the guys believing in the message, and they, they just never quit working. You know, you could tell that at some point it was going to turn. You didn't know when, but you just felt that at some point it would get there. And Coach mentioned the game in London and, and Trevor and – you know, how he had taken that loss to heart and changed some of the ways he went about his business. But, uh, you know, I just think it was a young group that that, uh, Coach just kept the faith in, and they kept the faith in themselves, and they worked through it. Trent Baalke here on the Rich Eisen Show. And your expectation level for Trevor Lawrence is for 2023? (laughs) Well, (laughs) I, I think it, the sky's the limit for Trevor. You know, he's uh, he's got all the talent in the world. It's important to him. He's he's really taken on a leadership role. It's the second year in a system where he's got a great connection with with obviously the head coach and the and the coaches that work with him on the offensive side of the ball. He's got great faith in the in the skilled position players around him and the offensive line. I, I think the sky's the limit, but uh, there's a lot of work to be put in before we get there. Give me your favorite Trevor Lawrence story where, because, again, you've been around some quarterbacks that are difference makers, certainly arms and legs. Kaepernick's a good one as well. I'll throw his name out there as well. But um, give, give me one story about Trevor Lawrence where you're like, okay, this is this is a special kid. You got one for me, Trent? Well, I think you go back to the, his rookie year and just all the things that he dealt with and and the way he handled the the, the media uh, through a time when you know he was first time he'd ever experienced losing, you know, in in his career in his life and uh, you know just the way he handled it. You know, for a young guy to come into this league with all the expectations, the weight of the world on his shoulders. And to fail for the first time in his in his career, his lifetime, in, in, in athletics, in, in in the sport of football, and just the way he handled himself. I think every day I was more and more impressed with the way he just came to work and never got too high and too low. And I think it, one more story, I guess, Rich would be, you know, you throw four interceptions in a playoff game, mm. and it's like water off a duck's back, and he just battled back through it, and it was like. It was ex- he just expected it of himself. I think those you, you can learn a lot by watching a guy like that and how he handles adversity. Was there any point in that rookie season uh, where you were concerned about his development stunting, Trent? Uh, I, I think no, because of the way he handled himself and the way he handled you know just the the setbacks and the adversity was just. You know, it, it, shit, it, it taught me, it taught me a lot. You know, just looking at him and the way he handled himself, and and uh, so I, I wasn't worried about his development. I knew it would come. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to go through some tough times to get to the to the good times, and, and he showed that. Is there uh, a plan in your drawer anywhere in your desk, knowing that uh, Trevor's going to come with a bag 
sometime <laughs> next year, Trent, and say, fill it up. Is there is there is that part of your generally managing the situation right now? Yeah, I, th- I think that's an expectation that we're all aware of, and it, it's going to happen sooner rather than later. But you know, we got a lot of ball to play this year, and and we'll worry about that when the time comes. But it, you know, it's coming clearly, right? <laughs> yeah, right? I guess the the safe that would be to say yes. Well, I, I, I'm assuming that's why you won the Mega Millions, right, Trent? There in Jacksonville, the winning ticket <laughs> was sold there, right? Was that part of that, well, it, right? In order to in order to win the ticket, you'd have to have bought a ticket. <laughs> okay. I, I, I wasn't the winner, but I, I live not too far from where the winner bought the ticket. Oh, is that right? So. Oh yeah. So you, I mean, not to rub it in, but you you could have, right? It's entirely. So let me ask you this question: Had you won the Mega Millions, would you be on this phone call with me right now, Trent Paul? <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. This this is too good a situation to walk away from. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.